hello, hello. I hope you're here. So my Facebook Live is 3 o'clock today, right? My regular time is 3.15. Bam! It's 3.15. So welcome here. I got my notification. Yay! Crisis averted. Oh, crazy. I'll be just one second. Let me pull that live up and let me give you the crazy backstory of all of this. Normally, when I go live, I go on my Facebook business page, okay? And then I go live. So I'm setting it up and there's no such thing as a live button on my Facebook page. So if anybody out there knows, and now I think I'm frozen, um, maybe not. But, oh, I see some names popping in. Hi, friends. Welcome here. Welcome here. So if anybody is familiar with the Facebook Live online world, did Facebook change something? Because I had no live button on my, um, on my business page. So then I went on my personal page to start my live, but then I realized nobody's going to be popping in because nobody looks for me on my personal page. So I shut down again, and I keep looking there because I do have a girlfriend here with me. Um, so I shut down again, and uh, hi Jean, hi Donna, hi Susan, welcome here. Nice to see your names popping up here, ladies. Thank you for saying hello. Hello, Darlene. Um, uh, so, so anyway, I went on my, my personal Facebook page thinking I would do it there, and kind of started with my hellos, and then I'm like, this isn't going to work because I still can't see my notifications and my messages from people that are, are popping in. Jean, I will write your name down. Thank you for sharing. I've got your name entered for the draw. So then I went back to my Facebook business page. Still, no live button. But then I thought, okay, there's another thing. If you have a business page, it's called Business Suite. So I thought I will go there and see what happens and there's a live button there. So I'm like, okay, I hope this works. So anyway, after all of that, sorry for, for my, my ramble, my stressed out ramble. I want to welcome you here. Let me introduce myself. Hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, currently at the lake. Um, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I think I said that already. Uh, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to help you with your, with your Stampin' Up! needs. If you have a demonstrator, that's wonderful. I welcome you here. Please stay, um, and hopefully I can leave you with a little tidbit here of um, some a helpful tip maybe or something. Hi, Donna. Welcome here. Donna is my my island partner um we're we're bad girls on facebook and we've been banished to the island so i always smile when i see donna's name come up so donna hi welcome here um uh yeah and if you're a stampin up demonstrator that's wonderful please don't go away because i might need your help or maybe you have some helpful tips that you can share with us all so today what i want to do is um I want to show you a pleated card, okay? And so you're just going to take your design paper, you're going to cut it a certain way, um, and uh, <laughs> Donna, it is fun on the island, isn't it? We've got our imaginary Stampin' Up! supplies on the island. What was it that we were chatting about just the other day, what we were bringing to the island? Ah, I can't remember. That was a whole day ago. Of course I can't remember. Um, uh, but anyway, so it's a it's a pleated card. So you're going to take your DSP, you're going to score it in certain ways and fold it in certain ways, and you're kind of making a kind of a beveled pleated um, yes wine. Yes, that would be lovely. Uh, don't forget the glasses. Don't like drinking out of a bottle. Hi Nancy, welcome here. Welcome, welcome. Please let us know where you're um, calling from because we're because I'm Snoopy. I want to know where you're from. I'm going to bring the camera down. If that makes you dizzy, please cl close your eyes because I bring it down and then I swing it around so nothing is upside down, okay? So here we go. I think I did all my intros. See you in a bit, down on the table. 
and swing it around. Sorry. Okay, now I'm good, and I have a feeling I am 10 miles away from my table. I'm gonna pull out this DSP just to show you where I started. I'm frozen right now. I can't see if I have a, if I have a good, the Wi-Fi is not the best here at the lake. So I have a feeling I need to pull my um, pull my camera closer and my girlfriend is actually gonna shut hers down I think and her phone just so that I'm the only person on Wi-Fi I know whenever Dean is here and I do lives he shuts everything down so I have a feeling sorry my friend that's what we're gonna have to do I think is anyone else frozen yeah Donna you know what I think it's at my end um, and so if, there we go, I think I'm starting to come back. Um, if, if you can shut your phone down too, that would be great. Okay, so, sorry girls, I hope this is gonna work. The dilemma of being at the lake. And I think I'm still frozen. Let me check my phone. No, on my phone, it comes and goes. Okay, Donna, sorry. Hopefully, it's going to come more often than it goes. My girlfriend has shut down her devices. You're going to take, and, I, and I'm not going to be creating the card using this. This is the, uh, the beautiful peach paper. You're going to take a 12 by 12, okay, and you're going to cut it at 11 and a half. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, or did I, where am I at here? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this at 11 and a half, okay, like so. And now there's just a little strip for whatever you want to do. And now you've got 11 and a half, and it was a, if it was a full sheet, 11 and a half by 12. Then you're going to cut at four. So then you would have, I just want to double check on my measurements, 11 and a half by four, and you're going to get to do that three times, okay, which would make six cards, okay? But I'm only going to do it once just to showcase um, how you're, go you're going to do this. So you're going to take your 11 and a half by four, and I think I'm still, I'm in between frozen and not. I'm gonna stand so I can see what I'm doing. You're gonna put this corner of the DSP in the track, and this corner of the DSP in the track. Now remember when I said, if you cut your DSP, your DSP at 11 and a half on one end, and then you cut three four inch strips. Here's my four inch strip. Hi, Lori, welcome here. Hi, Shell, welcome here. Happy Thursday. Wow, not without major, major glitches. So, again, 11 and a half by four, and if you cut that two more times and you get three four inch strips, you're going to make six cards. But I'm just going to do it once just to show you what I'm doing. So corner in the track, opposite corner in the track, give it a nice cut and there is the beginning of two cards. And you know what? I think I've already done this incorrect by the looks of what I just did. Hmm. Maybe I don't remember how to make my card. Then you are going to... Hi, Kathy. It's going to be an interesting day because already I have started with many glitches. 11 and a half by 4. Then we are going to score at 1 inch. You want to make sure that your cut blade is away. This is not my new Stampin' Trimmer. I'm at the lake. One inch, two and a half. 
This might be a bust today, ladies. Three and a quarter. Four and three quarters. And you know what? I will put... Kathy, thank you for sharing. Here's where I'm, I'm scoring. You're starting with an 11 and a half by four. Okay, uh, where was I? Four and three quarters. These are all my scores, okay? Five and three quarters. Seven and one quarter. Eight. This is throwing me off. I've done, I, I, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. And you know what I did? I know exactly what I did. Erase all of the above. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start again. You're starting with a four inch strip. I'm going by memory a little bit. That is the scary part. And I think what I needed to do was mark two, no, that doesn't make sense either, two inches and then, and then my corner. Nope, something is wonky. Something is wonky. Here's my card, okay? Here's my other card that I did with this. So I really did create this. I promise I did. Kathy, you know what? I've got you down for sharing twice, but I'm going to mark you down for sharing again. If anybody else has shared and I haven't called out that I've, I've written your name for the draw, please let me know. Darlene, I'm writing your name for sharing. Thank you for that. Okay, this might help. This is my four inch strip. And I've got three inches on that side and I've got one and an eighth inch on that side. So I'm trying to remember how I got this. Okay, yes, okay. You're cutting four inches. Sorry, ladies. You are measuring at one end, you are measuring one and a half. Okay, and at the other end, you are also measuring, boy, am I doing this right? I am so nervous, one and a half. So how did I get, well, it's not one and a half. It's one inch, one inch on that side here and then you're going to measure one inch on this side. Does anybody else have days like that? You're gonna put your one inch mark in the track. You're going to put the other one inch mark, which is right here in the track. So see how now I'm on the diagonal. Okay, feeling better. Give that a slice. There you go. Now you're ready for two cards and you're going to do all your scoring, okay? So you're going to score as per here. And I'm not gonna start all over again. One and a half, or one inch, sorry, two and a half. Quit while you're ahead, Denise. Three and a quarter, four and three quarters, five and three quarters seven and one quarter, eight, nine, and then 10 and a quarter, okay? So that's where all your score lines are going to be, all right? Now you're just going to start folding. And what you want is your bone folder, and I didn't bring one, but I've got, um, I, I have this scored already, so I am just going to score back and forth. Oh, thank you. My trusty helper has brought my bone folder. So I'm going to score and burnish 
And then my next fold, I'm going to burnish, fold and burnish, fold and burnish, fold and burnish, fold and burnish, like so. And this is what you end up with, okay? So that's how I did this one. And that's how I did this one. Now this one is on a diagonal because I entered this in a sketch challenge and the challenge was to have that on a diagonal. I'm not wild about my curtain fold um, not falling square, but you know what? That's my card. This one, it is falling square. So you're gonna take your curtain fold and you're going to adhere it to the rest of the pieces of your card. So this basic black measures five and three eighths by four and one eighths, okay? Then your DSP that you choose. Now this DSP is from the Celebration um, brochure. So for every $60 that you spend, this is one of your, your freebie items, okay? You're going to put a little bit of ad adhesive. And you know what? We could do it either way. So my first card, I've done this way. Oh yeah, it is different. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm going to stay with this. Or should this be my background? Because this is what it's going, going, what is going to happen is this. That's going to be at the top. This is going to come here like so. So do we want this DSP at the bottom? And I'm going to wait to get your replies. Or if I flip that DSP around, do we want this? kind of look and let's see what's on the other side of that we could do that as well lots of choices what are we doing here ladies which way are we going it's a fun card to make Kathy you should really try it and you know what it's a great way to use your DSP um, you're gonna want three different patterns that go together when you do this okay so I am waiting to hear, Are we? do we want the berries? Uh, yes, you like it with the berries. Okay, Kathy, you're the first to reply. So we're going to do it that way. Now here's another question. Do we want the berries at the top? Or do we want the berries at the bottom? Have a seat, Dar. I have a friend here with me. So we can do it either way. So do we want, like that's going to be hid, do we want the plaid at the bottom or do we want the plaid at the top? And I will wait. So we're going with red berries for sure, but now my next question is plaid at the bottom. And again, this is the free DSP. So if you do want to place an order with me, the plaid at the top, okay, Kathy, thank you. First in, you're on. Okay, let's get some adhesive behind there, like so. So I'm standing up because, and you know what I'm going to do? I might as well shut my iPad off because I'm standing during this whole thing anyway. And then maybe Darlene could watch too. The Wi-Fi is not the best at the lake. Berries at the top. Okay, berries are at the top, which means we're going to take our plaid and we're going to place that down now at the bottom, okay? So our basic black, let me bring in those measurements, okay? So here's, here is um, all of your scoring, okay, of your DSP and this is the measurements of your panels, okay? So my basic black is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. This panel is five and a quarter by four. Yeah, you know what? The, um, let me shut, let me shut my iPad right off. There and maybe it will stop. Thank you, Kathy, for letting me know. 
My Berry DSP is four by five and a quarter, and this little strip is four by two, okay? And Kathy wanted it down here, so let's put our adhesive on the back of that. Kathy, did that help? Because now I've shut my iPad off because I'm standing up anyway, so I can at least see the screen of my phone because I'm standing. Whoops, let's hide that. I love my Tombow because I've got wiggle room. Okay, here we go. So that's down. Now we want to put this curtain fold down on here and I want to make sure that when I put my curtain fold down that none, see how this is sticking out? None of that is sticking out. So I want to make sure that this is going to be down there. But we want to put a little bit of adhesive behind all of our folds because that's just going to make it way easier to keep our card together. So I'm going to put a little line on this one and fold it down. And all I'm doing is I'm putting my adhesive this is my flat part. I don't want to put my adhesive there. I want to put a little line right here close to this edge, okay? Thanks, Kathy, for letting me know. I, um, I've shut all my other technologies down. And again, close to this edge, but not, not over. I don't want my adhesive oozing through. So we've got just a small gathering of ladies watching today, and that's okay. I'm used to having a few more girls, but you know what? It's August. Summer is coming to a close, and people are outside taking it in. Now, I want to go to the other side, and I want to do the same thing, because see how this is not together? I don't want my curtain unfolding, so let's put a little on here. And I did it in the wrong place. Let's put it closer to the middle. There we go, like so. Try not to stick your fingers in your glue. Welcome here, everyone. Let's put a little bit on this edge. I don't want to go too close to the bottom because I don't want any oo uh, glue oozing out on my pleats, okay? So now I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive here, but not going close to the bottom, staying closer to the top. And then here, like so. And last but not least, this guy right here. And fold that over. Now our pleats are done. I don't have my silicone mat, so that's why I'm holding it in my hands. Let's put this down, and again, I don't want to go too close to the edge. Hi, June. Welcome here. Nice to see your name pop up. So again, I want to make sure that my curtain pleat is hiding in that corner, okay? I don't want any of that poking through. I want to hide that. I want my black border to show a little bit. This is a little bit too long. I have a feeling I forgot to cut it. Darlene, can I ask you to bring me a pair of scissors, please? Thank you. Just a little pair of snips, and let's get that snipped off. Thank you. Just so that I'm close to my black border. It looks like I've got about an eighth of an inch to clip off. We'll see how good of a scissor cutter I am here. Okay, and now that flap I want just a smidge of glue down there. Sherry, welcome here. Nice to see your name. And I'm going to pop your name in for the draw. Thank you for sharing. 
Thank you for that. Okay, so our curtain fold is done. Now I want to put a strip of ribbon and here's where I'm going to need some more input. I'm going to put a strip of ribbon down on this whole panel before I put it on my card base. And so I want my ribbon wrapped around. So I don't want that on my base yet because I want to be able to have my ribbon tucked in like that, okay? So here are our choices. These are all the new ribbons from the mini. Got a little stray piece of, of um, thread on this one. Do, do we want this ribbon? It's gorgeous, full of sparkle. Do we want this ribbon? So what I would do with this, rather than have, well, I could have it here. See how I can see through and I can still see my diagonal? Or we could put it up there, okay? So here's number one, here's number two. I need to ask, June, I will write your name down. And again, same thing. I would put this ribbon because I can see through it. I would either place it here or up here. So ribbon number one, two, or three. I feel like I'm a, a, con, a, a host for a, um, what do you call those? Remember that? What was that? that program, the game show. Um, what was that? Door number one, door number two, or cobbler. Okay, Kathy, wow, you're quick on that. Uh, June, you just shared. I'm gonna write your name down as well. Thank you for that. Okay, so cobbler it is. Mary, welcome here. I am just showcasing a um, A curtain fold card let's make a deal thank you the video is stopping or yeah you know what I think it's my internet and I think what I want I think I want less do I want less of a pleat or do I want no you know what I, I, I need it here so I want about an inch on either side and then this is what I like to do with my ribbon. I like to take my mini glue dots. It's still paused. I'm so sorry. Uh, girls, you know what? We are in the process of um, hooking up with a different internet provider here at the lake. And uh, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I like to put a little glue dot in the center and then that's going to hold my ribbon down like so. And then I often will use my tape runner, but I don't have it right now. So I'm going to put a glue dot on this piece of ribbon right here. And I'm just going to wrap around. So normally if I had my tape runner, what I do is I just put a strip and then I peel that over, but a glue dot works as well. And so here is my other glue dot. And then I'm going to wrap that around. And now we are wrapped like so. And now I'm ready to um, to put this down. Oh, June, you've got a girlfriend that's joined us. That's great. Thank you for saying hello to her, June, and welcoming, welcoming her here. So now we've got our ribbon on our curtain fold. Let's get our sentiment on there, and I have that all ready to go. So I took the black glimmer paper, and I, um, I stamped... Uh, the sentiment from snow time or no uh, ho uh happy holy day holidays how do you say that happy holidays that sentiment was from happy holidays i took black glitter 
and I use the die from Snowtime Dies. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that in half, like so. I'm not too worried about precision because I want to be able to have a little bit of black glimmer hanging out on either side, okay? So let's get a little bit of our liquid adhesive. So, um, June, if your girlfriend wants to say hello, that would be wonderful, because I don't see her here, but I know you said hi to her. And um, I can enter her name for a draw if she shares. So I just put a little bit of liquid adhesive behind my sentiment or on my black glimmer, like so. And then I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind that. So let's grab that and I'm just gonna use some minis. Boy, what a nightmare when I started my live today. Whew. It was a little bit stressful. I lost my live button on my Facebook business page for some strange reason. Remove the backing and pop that right onto our ribbon, like so. And then I failed to write down this, oh, you know what, this would have come from Happy Holidays and I fussy cut that and then I used my light evening evergreen to, um, to paint my leaves. And I'm not gonna worry about my berries because I'm gonna use my wonderful gems. Let's get a dimensional behind that. We'll put one here. I've got glue on my fingers. I keep sticking to everything. And I think I'm gonna put a little dimensional. Oh, do I, I don't think I need them on that side. Let's get that removed. June, I have not quite got your card in the mail yet, but I have not forgotten about you, my dear. You do have a card coming your way. And as soon as I get home from the lake, that is on my to-do list. So let's put our berries right there and let's get some gems on our card. So I used um, the red gems on these berries and then I used the other colors on the other portion. These um, are in the mini holiday catalog. Let's get three of the large and get those onto the holly berry. I think most of my girls must be out enjoying this beautiful summer day because I usually have more gals pop in on me, but I don't blame you. It's a beautiful summer day and that's where you wanna be, is outside. Sandy darling, welcome here. Let's get some of these other berries on here, or uh, gems on here. They almost get lost on here. I'm gonna put them where the red stripe is. I've got three here. I wanna grab three more. Let's put one, uh, let's put one there. And let's put one here, like so, okay? So now our whole card panel is done. Now what we wanna do is pop that onto our card front. So we're gonna use our liquid adhesive again. I like my, my um, multi-purpose Tombow glue because I've got wiggle room and I need it. And I also like to put a little bit on the ribbon just because I want to hold that ribbon down. The last thing you want to do is have your card fall apart when your recipient is opening it. And I've got just a smidge of a border, probably about 
a sixteenth of an inch. And down she goes. Okay, so these two are mostly the same. It's using the same DSP. Again, this one's on an angle. If you go to my blog, um, you will see that um, the sketch that I entered this in called for a diagonal, so I didn't go straight across. I prefer the straight across, but you know what? There's no, there's no right or wrong. So these two are using the same DSP, just different sides of it. This is using another set of DSP, also from the uh, Celebration Catalog, where um, with a $60 purchase, you would get this design paper for free, okay? If anybody has any questions at all, do not hesitate to ask. Um, I have, for today, those that shared, that are entered in for next week's straw, I have June and Jean, Dar and Sherry and Kathy. So if I have missed anybody else, if anyone else has shared, please let me know so I can add your name for next week's draw. Um, and I'm gonna bring the, the um, I'm gonna bring the camera up so I can do my draw from last week, okay? And the names from last week are Sherry, these are the girls that shared last week, Tracy. Now some girls shared during the live, some girls also shared um, when I posted that I'm going live, so they get entered twice. So Kathy and Tracy and June and Jean and Dar and Lucy and Sherry, okay? So you know what, rather than bringing the camera up, because then, oh, and Nancy, you shared, okay? Nancy, I'm gonna enter your name for next week. Um, and you don't, you don't have to be here, I will, f I, hopefully, I will find you. And, uh, and if I draw your name next week, Nancy, um, I'll send you the card that I create um, on next week's live, so that's what I that's what I normally do. The girls that share today, their name goes in the draw for next week. So the names that I'm drawing today are the girls that shared um, for last week. I am going to bring the camera up, and if there are more comments, I'll just be able to read them after. So for today's share, this is what I have. Dar and Sherry and Kathy, Nancy, thank you for that, Jean and June. And Nancy, welcome here. I don't think you've been here before. And uh, if I can be a real sh a snoop, can I ask where you're from? I'd love to hear that. So here are the names for last week. I just am going to shuffle them a little bit and then I'm gonna bring the camera up. This is old school. I don't do the, uh, the ra random link generator not sure how to do it right now and i just really don't want to learn another thing okay camera's coming up if it makes you dizzy close your eyes because we're going up and i'm spinning around okay and hopefully i'll be in screen okay here we go up and around and i think i'm in screen so it keeps slowly going down here are the names Let's see who wins, and um, just it, when I do choose your name, because I wasn't able to turn on my other device to see my comments, so now if you're commenting, I actually can't see. Um, so when I do draw your name, let me know which card you want in the comments, and then after my video, I'll be able to go and, and have a look and, and see who it was. If I don't have your address, I'll be calling out for your address so I can mail that to you, okay? And I am a little bit behind in sending out my cards. Um, I didn't do a live last week because we were camping and uh, the girls that won the week before last, I haven't quite finished it. So if you, are, if you were a winner from two weeks ago, I apologize, but it is coming. Okay, here we go. I don't know who I have here, but I've got one sheet, and the winner is Tracy. So Tracy is my friend from Missouri. So Tracy, I don't think you're here today, 
but there's a card coming your way. I will send you a message to find out which card you want, okay? So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Have a great weekend. It's almost here. I'm at the lake. The sun is shining. I think I'm going for a walk. So um, yeah, with that, I'm going to say adieu. Have a lovely day. Um, blessings to you and yours. And be safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.